Thumper doesn't immediately seem like a good candidate for a game you'd want to play in VR. Mostly because, for 100% of your playthrough, you'll be staring straight ahead. There's no room to breathe in Thumper, no time to take in the scenery. You're barreling down tracks at insane speeds, and looking away even for a moment is asking for trouble. So the question is, why would you want to strap on a VR helmet to play a game where moving your head isn't recommended? Well, for one, it's easier. The foundation of Thumper is the same as Guitar Hero or Rock Band. Hitting the right buttons or button combinations at just the right rhythmic moments is essentially the entire game. I played for a while on my TV before switching over to VR mode. It's nice to have the option to play outside of VR, but I honestly don't recommend it. Being inside of Thumper's world makes seeing your next action somehow much clearer and allowed me to usually be two steps ahead instead of always fumbling around with the controller at the last second. I'm still not terribly good at Thumper, but I'm far better at it in VR. And while Thumper is a rhythm action game, it's also one of the few that's this disturbing. The context of your surroundings is never actually explained, but the aesthetic falls somewhere in between the realm of psychedelic and demonic. The environments twist and morph around the track as if they're alive, taunting you on your mission, whatever that may be. But the level bosses are the most impressive. On a TV, they can seem small and off in the distance, but in VR, the sense of scale is remarkable. They'll rise up and loom over you, adding the extra level of stress to your actions, making a victory that much more satisfying. Most games in this genre are easy to learn, but tough to master. I found that Thumper abandons this design model and opts for something in between. My first 30 minutes were met with endless frustration and confusion, but once I got it, I really got it. I'm not saying that it got easier, but I did find myself falling into trances, turning off my brain and going into autopilot. It's a zen-like feeling. When you and Thumper become one, start sharing the same brain. Thumper won't be for everyone. In fact, it took me months to get around to giving it a fair shot. But if you give it a chance, play it in VR and turn up the sound. Your ride through hell is waiting, and what a fun ride it turned out to be.